screw the lube up in this joint. All right, uh, this is Jeremy from Crave Online. I'm here with Craig and Paul Pumphrey, the Pumphrey <laughs> brothers. Uh, we're standing in the wreckage of uh, some kind of burger shop or something. Uh, you won't mind telling us what the hell's going on here? Uh, this is a franchise fast food smackdown. We're basically coming in here, trashing the place for all those people who got their orders wrong and their burgers messed up. We're here to vindicate them. You know, when you drive off of the drive-thru and you're mad and you don't feel like turning back around, right. we're trashing the place for them. Taking this joint and busting out his grill. What are some of the things that you've been destroying in this place, uh, besides everything? <laughs> well, we started out with the front lobby area where they had the desks, or the chairs and the tables and the benches. We started there, trashed it, used everything possibly we could imagine to destroy things, you know. So we do everything with our bare hands. And there just, just so happens to be a chair laying there, we'll use that as a weapon too. And whatever it takes to get something pulverized to where it's not recognizable of what it used to be is our goal. It just, it, it is what it is. What you see is what you get. And uh, of course we have an engineer on standby. He kind of gives us his point of view. This may be the better angle you may want to approach. You may want to avoid these areas and this is what it's made of. So we got a lot of science to back up what we do and hey, we put on one heck of a show. Who's, who's a better scientist? You are those dorks from, uh, what's that other show? It doesn't matter what it's called. You know who I'm talking about with the mustache. Yeah. Mythbusters. <laughs> actually take the science and apply it with our bodies. We don't stand behind bulletproof glass and shields and safety equipment. We wear nothing. We have no protective equipment. Wait, nothing? Ah! Well, you know, just the threads on our skin. You know what I'm saying? We keep it to a bare minimum. If we could go butt naked, we would. We don't care. We ain't scared. That reminds me. I saw you uh, break a, um, a baseball bat like with your nuts. Were you scared that you might get a sliver? Well, actually, I wasn't my nuts, but I do appreciate the compliment. Actually, what I did was I took the bat and I put it under my hamstring, okay. and I used my biceps to pull up on it until it broke. So I, I can tell you the, the appearance was slightly terrifying, you know, to the common viewer. Gave it some wood, man. There's nothing wrong with having a little wood now and then. It's a new Especially a little Louisville wood. slugger, you know. Hey, <laughs> swinging some lumber, baby. I'm swinging some wood, baby. <laughs> That's right. Who's tougher, you guys or the real housewives? Don't mess with the housewives, dog. Yeah, you, you, know. yeah, you stay away from, yeah, that's Crazy dangerous. women, you don't want to mess with. They're very vindictive. That's right. One minute they're fixing you a sandwich, next minute they're stabbing you. With, <laughs> with the sandwich. That's exactly right. Up, make a weapon out of it any time, so you got to be careful. Could you guys break a unicorn? I'd snap his horn right off. I'd snap his horn right off. I'd snap, I'd snap, I'd snap, I'd snap, I'd snap his horn right off. And that's right. Like and but <laughs> and while he's breaking off the corn, see uh, the horn, I would have the the unicorn in a chokehold, so it would all be good. Yeah, it's yeah. like tag team action, man. <laughs> it's like it's like I got him, Paul. Snap it! Ah! You know, toss it to the other side of the yeah. rainbow. All right. Well, well, unicorns don't exist, so uh, I'm not calling you guys liars or anything, but. Well, we like to imagine, too. We have an imagination, you know. We, we can live in La La Land if I mean, we want, you know, so you know, hey. Have you ever danced with a Smurf in the pale moonlight? No, but I've seen a, a Smurf adult film before. I'll there you go. Blue. They, have, huh? they have blue balls? Uh, they were blue for the first, like, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then they blew, right? <laughs> there she blows. Uh, <laughs> we'll leave Smurfette alone, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, so can you guys teach me some karate? Sure. What do you want to learn? Uh, I don't know. What's, like, something really badass that I can do in my office? And everyone will be like, whoa, that's badass. You should watch out for that guy. He knows karate. We can show you how to rip a piece of paper. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Let, let me show him one of my nice little chokeholds so we can end the interview. Do it. Let me show you this. Come here. Check us out. Okay. I'm going to learn karate. This is going to be awesome. Come around this way. Okay. Come around the back. Uh huh. And then you squeeze so you can't breathe. <laughs> Hey there, what happened to you? Choked out, what happened to you? He snapped my horn right off. He snapped my horn right off. He snapped my, snapped my, snapped my, snapped my, snapped my horn right off. Karate's less awesome than I thought it would be in practice. <laughs> but thank you for showing me that. I really appreciate it. He looks a little lightheaded. I don't know. Yeah. He's kind of doing this. 
<laughs> I felt I felt a, a strange crunching sound that was interesting. That was but, your free chiropractor. Uh, yeah. yeah, thank you. No problem. <laughs> Let me tell you something, brother. When the grease drops on the ground, watch for the fries coming out of my hand because it's gonna be mean, brother. I hear an amen. Amen. Ah! We're gonna move up in this joint. 